Welcome to the Sakonic L308S Quick Start video series. In the videos that follow, we'll help you set up your meter, guide you through the basics of light metering, and even show you a few advanced tricks. Let's get started. In this first video, we'll show you how to get your L308S up and running and give you a brief overview of its most popular functions. First, let's install the battery. Simply slide down the battery compartment cover on the back of the unit and insert the battery. The L308S takes one AA battery. Power on your meter by pressing and holding the power button. The unit is now ready to operate, but before we start metering, let's take a brief tour of some of the most popular buttons and icons. These three graphical icons on the upper left of the LCD represent your metering modes. The sun icon is for ambient light, meaning any form of non-strobe light. And the lightning bolt icons represent different options for strobe light metering. We'll tell you more about these later. The T icon is for shutter speed. T stands for timed shutter mode. The F is for F-stop. You navigate through these icons by pressing the mode button. After you release the mode button, the up or down buttons will allow you to cycle through the specific settings. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see the ISO setting. This can be adjusted by holding down the ISO button and pressing the up or down buttons on the side of the meter. You can set your meter to either incident or reflective light by adjusting the LumaSphere or by using the accessory LumaDisc. Again, we'll discuss all these in further detail later. This concludes our quick overview of setting up and operating the L308S. To try some test metering, continue on to the next video in this series, Metering Ambient Light.